Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at X-Men Unlimited number five, illustrated by the great Liam Sharp. All right, guys, so do you remember this title from the 90s? It was like an X-Men anthology series. Um, I want to say this, this is post Chris Claremont. Um, the dark ages have begun, but um, <clears throat> I love Liam Sharp's art. Um, he came back onto the scene... Um, with Wonder Woman, that was a huge hit for him and like a big comeback in comics. It, even though I hesitate to say comeback because he never really left, he kind of uh, did his own thing for a while and um, started a, co a company called Made Fire and all this other stuff. But anyway, he's a great artist. He has this really cool looking killer croc Batman, um, sort of, I think it's digital painted, but uh, it might just be mixed media, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it's coming out this summer, and it looks so cool. I love Liam Sharp's art. I've gotten to know him over the years. I've interviewed him over Wonder Woman, and he's just a heck of a nice guy and a killer artist. Um, he just keeps cranking it out. I mean, this is from 1994, and he is still doing, like, amazing work. This is definitely, like, a sign of the times. His art is going to look a little different here. It's definitely along the lines of sort of like Jim Lee. This is post Jim Lee on the X-Men or maybe during Jim Lee's time on the X-Men in 94, um, right before Image Comics. So it's definitely a sign of the times. Um, I discovered Great Storm right away. It's very exciting to see Liam draw the X-Men. I've been a fan forever. Uh, he drew Hulk and that was probably my first introduction to him at her death's head. And then I followed him until I could, and then I didn't know where he went. But anyway, when he came back with Wonder Woman, it was really cool. But I love this X-Men um, Unlimited series. It was very cool. They should definitely do something like this again. I think that the X-Men just has such a large, uh, you know, mythos that they have so many untapped characters and just so many great things. There definitely is room for something like this. You know, where you're having different creative teams come in and tell different stories. I mean, I would love to see that happen again. But, like, from any era, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, Claremont and Burns X-Men, or Cockrum and Burns X-Men, or Lee and Burns X-Men, or Sylvester and Burns X-Men. You get my point. They are kind of doing that, um, what's that new series? Um... I, in my brain, it's X-Men Forever, but I know that's not it. So, um, but sort of telling stories, finishing loose plot lines that were dangling or whatever. There's so many great stories that could be told. Um, I mean, as you can see, this is, like I said, but it, Liam just kills it. I mean, he, I, it, it's kind of uh, awe-inspiring, like what a great artist he is and how he just puts... 200% uh, into everything he does, does and always has. Um, another cool thing he did uh, around this time in the 90s, I want to say, maybe later than this, was uh, Death Dealer for Veritic uh, Comics. It was based on the famous Frank Frazetta uh, painting of uh, the same name, Death Dealer. Did I already say that? Anyway, that's what happens when you don't use a script and you're kind of distracted while looking at um, comic book art. And then you also have uh, Charles Xavier naked with Will Landra. I mean, I guess that, you know, they clearly had a healthy um, romantic relationship and they never shied away from showing that. So I should say that this is written by John Francis Moore, who I remember that name, but I was kind of falling out in the 90s. I don't know. I was traumatized when Chris Claremont left the X-Men. So... The yeah, X-Men and me have had a very mixed bag relationship since then. So, as I said, the amazing Liam Sharp, Penciler, Kevin Conrad, Steve Moncuse, Robin Riggs, and Matthew Ryan Inkers. Robin Riggs inked Hulk, um, Liam on Hulk, and I really like that combo. I think they worked totally well together. Liam also has a, like, 30-plus-year retrospective art book coming out of all his art. There's a Kickstarter for it. I, I'll try to remember to link it in the description, but I think it's definitely worth supporting. And um, just if you're not familiar with Liam Sharp's art, you need to get on it. Yesterday, because he's a veteran of the industry, 
he deserves so much props and credit. I just really love his art. I mean, <clears throat> he's a classic comic book storyteller on top of just being an incredible draftsman and creating really beautiful pictures. You know, I, it's kind of neat to see someone like be like of this kind of epic level because this is very high level for like the 90s like this is right up there with Jim Lee and all the rest of them and then to see you know almost 30 years later him come back on Wonder Woman and just be killing it and then move on to Green Lantern and just doing monthly comics and penciling and inking and just like nailing it yes he he is not paying me for this endorsement. I'm just a fan. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Isn't this crazy? It's like, I don't even know, have any idea what's going on here. But Lil Landry's there. They're in space. You know, Storm is there. So that's good. As long as Storm and Wolverine are still in the X-Men, like, things aren't totally terrible. Just so much fun and so much, like, such great, I don't know, I love his cross-hatching and you can just learn so much by looking, I like, I feel like, well, I hope that a lot of uh, aspiring comic artists watch my channels because I do like to talk about the art a lot and, you know, the technique and everything. I mean, he, this is like, God, what is this, like 60 pages or something here? And he just draws 60 pages of the X-Men epic in space. And then there's a double page spread pinup. And this is inked by Terry Austin. And how cool is that? I don't know if uh, they've worked together that much before, but it's always good to see Terry Austin inks, the inker supreme. And then we end with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful storm pinup. So that's cool. So I would love to see a return of X-Men Unlimited. I think it's a great book. It's a great concept to have like a, an anthology series, especially, I mean, it's just like printing money, Marvel. So just get top-notch creative talent doing anthology stories of classic X-Men characters and make this happen again, okay? So if you guys haven't read X-Men Unlimited, uh, it's really good. The first issue I think was drawn by Chris Boccolo years before his run on the X-Men, and I think it was a storm story. So lots of great things have come out of X-Men Unlimited. So hopefully I'll find more and be able to show them to you guys. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. All right, thanks guys.